before we start tonight's topic, I want to just read you something. Now, I'm not going to show you uh, who was talking or what this is a reference to, but in case you can't tell by this uh, picture, um, I go on different videos and look at other people's videos and see how other people think. I like to see how different talking heads think, whether they're private citizens or they're on YouTube or they're on Twitch or they're big celebrities. I want to see how other people think. So I got to see a clip of Strange New Worlds uh, for the new season. And somebody made a comment, and I'll just go, I'll, I'll just go over the, uh, the correspondence here because I, I had to respond to this. So it says here, this guy, I won't say who he is, but he says, we finally get to see non-alternate timeline James Kirk with an exclamation mark. I said, the non who and the what now with three question marks. And then he says, oh, watch this series with a question mark at the end. And I say to him, I was confused thinking this was Kurtzman's own weird timeline. So then the guy says, the only Star Trek on its separate timeline is the J.J. Abrams movies in the Kelvin timeline. And I said to him, I see, they would never do anything like that. You must be right then. And then he says, especially since this is info from the showrunners themselves, dot, dot, dot. And then I say, right, they never lie. And then he says, question mark, question mark, question mark. So I just wanted to share that with you. Alex Kurtzman would never lie to you, except when he does, which probably most of the time. So I guess what will end up happening is, uh, as far as this goes, they'll separate Picard and Prodigy and maybe the fifth season of Discovery as being a separate thing. And then everything else that had to do with anything that has to do with Kirk and Spock and Uhura and Scotty and Bones and whatever, they'll just, th this is Kurtzman stuff. But then Picard takes place after, as though it's in respect to, to the Berman era. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh, Alex Kurtzman, you do some shit. And then I saw that Mickey Mouse, uh, what is it? Uh, no, Disney stopping physical DVDs all over the world except the USA. Thanks, Disney. You're really being helpful right there. We, we lock it up that Disney vault forever, are we? In fact, the Amazon workers, they do their best, right? And I'm going to open this up. I've been waiting for this for about a week. Oh, I was sad. That's sad. So Disney doesn't want to. So I've been hearing a lot about Disney losing money and they're they're dying. Oh, after I after I read that or not even read, I watched another video about Australia not getting uh, Asia and Australia and Canada no longer getting DVDs or Blu-rays. I'm, I'm tending to think that this is going to be the case. What, what you bought all this shit, Disney, you bought your Star Wars and your Marvel. And now you're fucking up. Then you try to act like you give a shit about diversity and politics and Democrats and all that shit. And then I think Mitch McConnell was having a, I don't know if he was having a stroke. He couldn't function. So that's the, all the news going on. But let's, let's get to why you're here. Oh good, this is not, I was, I was hoping this was not going to be sealed in plastic. And I'm, I was like, yes, good. I don't want it to be sealed in plastic. So let me show you why I called you all here. It's not for the other stuff. Look at this. Oh my God. Look at this. Look at this. This does not, I mean, this is not doing it. Let me, let me get some music on. Let's get some, let's get some music. Okay. There we go. We've got some royalty, royalty free death metal. So that's, that's fine. I think it'll, I think it'll work out. Hopefully I don't get blocked. Copyright claimed. I don't know. So look at all these characters. Now, what you are looking at is... There's King Hiss, right there. That's King Hiss. And there's other guys here. This is Paul Gerard's Rivals, Gods, and Machines. Now, this is not easy to get a hold of. Uh, most of the books that he had, uh, I guess they were selling for pounds in the UK. But these things got sold out. And so I was lucky to get a hold of this. So let's see if I can actually zoom out a little bit. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this bastard. Who is this guy? Okay. Look at that. Look at this. What, who, who is this guy? Right? So, I'm showing you so little here. Rivals, gods, and machines. Okay. So, you can see, there's King Hiss right there. That's King Hiss. Okay? It's Rai, Rai Baru. Rai Baru in Japanese. 
That is awesome shit right there. So we got all these different things in here. Q&A with Paul Gerard. I saw a Paul Gerard video. I'll read this for you. Occasionally as we wake, for a few brief seconds, our conscious minds flail like fragile and newly hatched birds. Desperate to claw our way free of some vis viscous membrane, pressing through the sticky threads of sleep that cling to us. Our sense of self blinks into being. Clutching at our surroundings, we struggle to emerge from the warm and alluring confusion of blissful sleep. In those fleeting beats, before the world settles and the ex extremities of our bodies assert their presence, the whisper of our dreams withdraw, of our dreams withdraw like slippery tendrils. We try to do to our subconscious minds for an instant. We grab at them. What was that thought, that image, that dream, that nightmare? Sadly, they are all too quickly gone, supplemented by the here and now, and we are left with an odd sense of loss, as you have just missed something. An idea balanced on the precipice of some profound realization, vaporized by the searing light of waking thought, yet somewhere in the recesses of our dark minds, the echoes of that dream state linger like after images burned into our retina, and morpheus and indiscernible. Thankfully, there is an artist who can reach into that murky reservoir and at will and draw forth visions of another realm, alien and unsettling, yet disturbingly familiar. Paul Girard is a visionary for whom there is no barrier between the waking world and the landscape of nightmares. His artwork purchases the black veil of imagination to reveal an ecosystem of profane savagery and surreal textures, where flesh meets fluid and hands sprout to the maws like flowing, flowering fungi. It is gruesome, horrific, and yet beckoning in its sensual allure. Those same wispy tentacles of dream scent which dance out of uh, reach as we wake. Now reach out of the page to entwine and intoxicate our senses, drawing us into Paul's pernicious, briny menagerie. Whether we accept their slithery seduction is up to us. Do these nether spheric images invite us into the embrace of the world of dreams or beckon us to a darker fate? What messages do these conjured entities be, uh, bring? Where will this journey beneath the sacred surface of consciousness lead? And will they be our guides in what lies beyond? Or possibly our captors? Do you dare turn the page with me? So Paul Gerard is a concept artist for major movies like Ninja Turtles. Uh, so like Ninja Turtles and Transformers. Uh, different ideas, okay? One of them was Masters of the... This is the guy that was going to do Masters of the Universe. He had done the art for the movie. So what I'm showing you are just the different images. Made, made up, made up. The labyrinth of the minds. Holy shit. Okay. For that quiet kid in the corner of a classroom, imagining how the teacher's head could open up into several segments, revealing multiple brain mouths. To the co-worker tilting his monitor so that the boss can't see him writing and drawing alternative, alternative universes. Nothing much has changed. I am and always will be an imaginer. A creator of fascinating characters in the world they inhabit. So, Masters of the Universe was the main reason I, I got this. So here is here's his whole life as a child. Okay, I'm going to have to get the fuck up and show you. Oh my god. Can we see that? Maybe. Maybe you can. Okay. Oh, look at this. Look at this. He's not fucking around. Look at this shit. Best stuff ever, right? Oh my god, look at this. So, TMNT. So, this is his life story here. And his his own Wikipedia. So, his little biography. Oh, there's Hell, there's Hellboy. I'm not sure. I think this might... I'm not sure if this was for the reboot or the Ron Perlman one. So go through these. Oh, look at her. I think she did the... I think she was the same model for Evil Lynn. Oh, yeah. Look at these guys here. So these are cool. These really... I like the... I like the... Like the different layers of skin color. Oh, look at this. Look at this fucker right here. He's opening up there somewhere. There's the Ninja Turtles, Shredder. Yeah, it's the Shredder. This looks better than what I we saw on the fucking screen. And I've seen both of these movies. I've seen both of these movies. 
Ah, oh, look at this. You could be friends. Ladies, how, if there's any women watching this, how would you like to date that guy? What's this? It's, it's sex with the gods. Look at this one right here. Oh, there's so many. Let's see if we can find. I'll show you some of these images. When we get to uh, Masters of the Universe, maybe we'll stop there. There's more of the same images. Look at this. Look at this shit. Oh, look at these plant creatures. <laughs> There's this guy. There's my creatures. More of these. I'm gonna flip ahead to see what I can find. That's, well, that's disturbing as fuck. This is more disturbing than nudity, right? I don't even know what that is. I have no idea. This has no definition. What are these things? You know, Paul Gerard said in a YouTube video that he doesn't, he doesn't intend to create horror. He was just like, he creates beauty and, you know. But all this stuff comes out horrific, doesn't it? Now, isn't this what you wanted Masters of the Universe to be for the movie? This is what it should have been, right? She is scared. Or maybe she's getting raped by a spider. She's probably getting raped by a spider. Just thought you'd think about that. I love this. Look at this. You gotta love this image so, so much. That's, uh, I don't know, that could be, uh, uh, what, are the sh what is her name? Shadow Weaver. I don't know. Let's see what we got. Let's see this. Yeah, there was only one copy of this book. I was lucky to get a hold of it. Mechanical Messiah. Oh my God. It's all about, it's all about blending spiritual thinking with the man, machine, and the aesthetic of body horror. Bleeding, bleeding spirit, bleeding spiritual thinking. What is this? Look at this. What does that look like to you? Hopefully you can see all that. Oh, there's the, there's the picture from before. Oh my god, look at that. That's, that's, uh, I don't know, that's, that's, that's Extendar. <laughs> I don't know who these guys are. Let's see if we can get to Masters of the Universe. Maybe that's Moss Man. I don't know what the hell that is. I'm going to skip ahead. Shadow Crawlers. I don't know what that is. I have no clue. Oh my god, look at these guys here. What's that, what's that all about? Got some of these guys here. Some creatures. This is cool. There's a lot of writing in here, but I can't read it like this. I can't read it like this to you. Ah, uh, there's there's uh, King Hiss. Masters of Chaos and Violence. Oh my god. Let's see. Here we go. I do not know who this guy is, but he looks like the characters from another 80s show. Maybe that's Stratos. This, this could be Stratos. But that's definitely Manny Faces. This is Manny Faces right here. Here we go. That's Manny Faces. Check that out. That is Manny Faces. There's the Sorceress. There's the Sorceress. And right there is Man at Arms. Ha ha ha. Aren't you sorry we didn't get this movie? Where's this movie at? 
Where the fuck is this movie at? King Hiss. Tila. I would do Tila a little differently. Oh, I like this. This is a better one. Because the way he draws Evil Lynn should be a big contrast to Tila. I do not know. This is probably Extendar. <laughs> it's Extendar. I don't know. There's fucking Skeletor. Fucking Skeletor. Fucking Skeletor, man. That's it. Oh my god, we got more, we got more. There's another Skeletor. Modulok! Modulok. Ah, it, looks, it looks twisted, doesn't it? It looks like the fucking thing. Modulok would have been the thing, you know? Yeah, from the 1982 movie. That's Evil Lynn. There's Evil Lynn. That's the same model we saw before, right? That's fucking Evil Lynn. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. This, look at this. That's Buzz Off. Oh god. It's a lot of work to show this to you. I hope you're all paying attention. Trap Jaw. Now I see them in color. There is He-Man and Tila. That's fucking He-Man. He's got a buzz cut. He's got a buzz cut. Let me see if I skipped anything. No. Okay. Oh my god, this is Thundercats. There's Thundercats. Mumra, the ever the living. That is amazing. Is that Lionel? Panthro? I don't know what the fuck that is. I'm sorry, I'm taking so long here, but Seven Swords. I'm gonna flip through this really quick. There's so many warriors. It looks like something out of Hellraiser. That's Hellraiser. Hey guys, it's Hold on a minute. Guess what? Look at this guy. Who's this guy? That looks like Keldor. That's Keldor before he became Skeletor. Now, I think I showed you all the Masters of the Universe, but these are just extra stuff. But look at all the shit. Look at this guy. That that Hordak? <laughs> uh Wick Wick Wickness Claw Wickness Clan. These are just made up. This is like stuff he uh added on here. Look at this guy. Oh shit. Uh. Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna flip through these really quick. Demons. Oh, yeah, he had more liberties to do this one. This is the one Paul Gerard said he had the most creative fun with. And... That's it. Oh, yeah, this is the, this is the model for Evil Lynn. And probably Tila. What is your ultimate career goal? To tell my characters stories and explore their worlds via film. TV, art, books, and graphic novels. Especially to bring them to life. I think Paul Gerard's a director. And there's the lovely man himself. That's it. So, that was Paul Gerard's Rivals. Rivals, Gods, and Machines. I was very lucky to get a hold of this. This was exhausting to kind of straighten my back here a bit to kind of show you. Good for my back, because I had to stand a certain way. I hope you all appreciate it. If you like this video, you know what to do. I have hours and hours of YouTube videos that go back from 2015 to now, and I wanted to really show you this. 
This was the Masters of the Universe movie. Well, got it. There's some Ninja Turtles and Thundercats and other stuff that you saw in there. But this was the Masters of the Universe movie we deserved to have. But we never got because Mattel is too stupid. They could do Barbie. Wait, why can't they do this? Listen to that music and put that with Masters of the Universe. That is exactly the movie we needed. But too bad for us, right? All right. I could say good journey, but I'm going to say the power is ours. That's it. We have the power. Whatever, whatever, whatever it is. Good journey.